This is a, a quote from Steve McVeigh. No, we weren't created for worship. Now, again, that's something I heard for so much of my you know, early life. Well, we were created to worship God. He says, no, we weren't created to work for worship. Our God isn't a narcissist who needs us to keep reassured of him of how great he is. We were created to be loved. And as we receive love, worship is the unavoidable response. You don't have to motivate people to worship who are experiencing divine love. Our very lives are an expression of worship when we are aligned to who we really are. When we're trying to work for God and earn his favor and blessing by works, ultimately, that's not an expression of worship. God wants us to know that we're loved and in experiencing love, our very lives will be pleasing to God. Please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you very much. His presence now, our experience of his presence has its reference in our understanding of our oneness because of his doing. Now, this is a theme which comes through a lot of the things that I've read this month. Um, his doing. It's all about his doing, not our doings, about his doing. We're not more one with him when we feel whacked or get the goosebumps and less with him when we feel nothing. Because it's about his doing, not about how we feel about his doing or how we feel about our doing. It's about his doing and accepting and experiencing his doing. And sometimes that in, is an outwardly expressed experience in which there are goosebumps and we feel absolutely overwhelmed with that. And other times we may not emotionally feel that much, but the truth is still the truth. We're still one because of his doing. This morning, I was just meditating and thinking about the wonder of God and the wonder of his love. And I felt overwhelmed. I felt, you know, so overwhelmed, I began to sob. Not sobbing sadness, but sobbing just for the joy of the amazing love that he has for me. And I just began to think of how great he is. And that song came to me, you know, how great thou art. Um, and I began to just think about the wonder of his greatness. And I felt so loved in an emotionally overwhelmed way. And I felt really whacked in that experience. Now, I'm not feeling whacked right now like that. But I know the truth is still exactly the same. It is because of his doing that I am in that union in oneness with the Father through Jesus the Son.